Hi, this is Shay, and I'm going to share with you my why. Why I chose to be a Beachbody coach. I'm a little different than a lot of coaches that you'll hear about in that they had dead-end jobs or didn't make much money, and they really didn't have that high of a baseline of financial criteria they had to meet in order to leave their job. So looking for that bigger, brighter opportunity. That wasn't me. I actually, in my 20s, was um, very successful as a manager of an enterprise rent-a-car, making just under six figures. Then I spent 10 additional years in the pharmaceutical industry. Every year, my efforts landed me in the top 2% of the company. I made well into six figures, had a beautiful company car, phenomenal health insurance, and a great life. And outsiders look at you and they envy you. They're like, man, you've got the life. You drive around all day, you see doctors, you wear cute little suits and make killer money. It does appear that way on the outside. But I'm gonna tell you what, it's not how it felt on the inside. My why is about a quality of life. And although initially in your 20s, it's really great to go balls to the wall and meet that threshold as that validation for yourself that, wow, you know, I'm making great money. You know, I've arrived in my adulthood. Once you have a family and you're in your 30s, changes. At least it did for me. What I grew tired of was constantly doing reports every single night because I wasn't allowed to do reports from 8.30 to 5. I got tired of driving all day long, driving to the doctor's offices, driving in between appointments, standing in the rain, carrying food everywhere, being told by my company who I needed to call on, how often I needed to see them, what I needed to say, how much I needed them to move market share. And they told me my quota. This is what I needed to sell. This is how much I needed to push the business. And if I didn't do it within that quarter, I'd go on probation and risk losing my job. I saw a lot of people get pushed out. I wasn't going to be one of them. Again, I was in the top 2% of my company. But all that drive and all that push and all that ambition was expected. It wasn't rewarded. You're supposed to produce that way. And then what happens when you produce is then they expect even more the next time because now they know exactly what you're capable of. And it gets harder and your days get longer and the restrictions get tighter. I got really, really tired of being told by other people how I should spend my time, how few days off a year I would get, and constantly being questioned, and every person that I saw having a time stamp of when I, when I saw them, what I said, and if what I said was in guidelines. You feel more like a robot. You don't really feel like you have any creativity, any autonomy. You just feel like a number in a big corporate system. Ten years of that really wore on me. The final straw for me was when we went through a corporate buyout and my territory was changed to the closest sales call for me was 90 miles away from my front door. Then I drove all day long. Then at 5 o'clock, of course, because everything's GPS monitored, I was allowed to leave my territory and drive home. Now, I don't know about you, but driving's okay, but spending 10 hours a day doing nothing but driving in a car and waiting to talk to doctors that don't want to see you isn't a quality of life or any type of fulfillment that I'm giving back to society. My rock bottom was when they moved my territory, and I remember lying on the floor because at the time, my husband had just left his job, so I was the sole income. And I remember feeling like, I can't do this another day. I'm so sick of being told what to do, when to do it, how to do it, how great I had to do it. And it was thankless. I was a social security number. Yeah, I'm making great money, but I'm stuck. I've got these golden handcuffs that I can't go anywhere now because they got me. What am I going to do? And I remember this huge weight being on my shoulders. 
and bless Neil because he says, you know what? I've never seen you like this. You hardly ever cry. And I don't want to see you like this. We'll figure it out. We'll do whatever it takes. So I took the severance and I left. I left a well six-figure job. I left the car and walked away from the insurance. And it was tough for a while. And Beachbody doesn't guarantee there's no salary that you walk into. There's no posh territory that you establish. You got to do it all on your own. But you know what? I'm not afraid of hard work. And I have enough ambition for a lot of people. But why I'm doing what I do is because now I get to do everything on my terms. I get to decide who I work with and what type of, what type of team I can create. If I decide I want to make a quota or not, it's my choice. If something's right for somebody and fits their lifestyle, I can talk to them about it. But if it's not, I don't have to push it on somebody. It's all about what feels right to me. I have my life back. I get to sit at home and work and leave the house if I choose. I get to connect with people on a human level and not just through a window signing a prescription card. I don't have to make small talk with people. I can talk and have meaningful conversations with people that matter, that actually impact their life. I'm a leader within my own industry of leaders. That moves me. I can take whatever day off I want. I make my own schedule now. Am I making the kind of money with Beachbody right now that I made when I left Pharma? No. But you know what? I'm not that far from it. And in another year or two, I will have doubled it. And the day that I officially pass my highest paid year with Pharma will be a huge rite of passage and a huge celebration. But again, for me, it's not about the money. It's nice to have it. Definitely makes life more comfortable. But what's life when you're miserable and you're living under someone else's thumb? I'll never go back to that. I'm an entrepreneur now. I'm a leader. I inspire people. I help people. I feel good about what I'm doing. And even better, I'm doing it on my terms and I'm doing it my way. This is a great opportunity. And if you've ever been stuck in that corporate world with those corporate handcuffs and can relate to anything that I've said, don't think that you're immune to being laid off or pushed to the side or replaced with someone younger. There are better options out there. This one is mine. It doesn't have to be for you. It's not for everybody. But this is my why, and this is why I do what I do. Thank you.